an experiment to determine the solubility of potassium nitrate at a specific temperature. If you've got time to set this up slowly, then it's far better if you set up a water bath, as we see here, and we've got potassium nitrate in a saturated solution, which is just at 40 degrees centigrade in the boiling tube in the middle. So with this procedure, we weigh an empty evaporating basin. That's 59.47 grams, 59.47. And into that, we need to place some of the potassium nitrate solution that's at 40 degrees C. So we move the boiling tube and all we need to do is to pour a small amount into the evaporating basin, but not any of the solid. And the reading is now 73.10, 73.10 grams. We can now dispense with the water bath and the potassium nitrate and we now need to introduce a water bath on which we can evaporate our solution. So a kettle of hot water here will provide the starting water. We've already got some anti-bumping granules in the beaker. So let's turn the Bunsen burner on. and place our solution which is already being beginning to crystallize it's cooled down onto the beaker so what we'll do here is we'll monitor the experiment until the water bath reaches a state of equilibrium, steady boiling, and then we'll probably pause the video and evaporate through to dryness. We remember that potassium nitrate will decompose on heating at around 400 degrees centigrade, and that's why we use the water bath here, so that we don't overheat. As you can observe, the water bath is just starting to boil and we will need to reduce the heat slightly, closing the air hole on the Bunsen burner for a more gentle heating. So to reiterate, if you're going to perform this experiment in a science lesson, it's far easier if you start off with a pre-prepared saturated solution of potassium nitrate in a water bath that's allowed to equilibrate at exactly 40 degrees centigrade. That's the time consuming part of the experiment. It's simply a case then of weighing an empty evaporating basin transferring some of the solution, potassium nitrate solution, into the evaporated basin and evaporating to dryness and recording mass readings. Now, although you can't see in the evaporating basin, the solution is evaporating quite rapidly. We've already formed some solid around the edge and it shouldn't take too long.
So in the evaporating basin we have a we placed a concentrated, indeed saturated solution of potassium nitrate. We weighed the evaporating basin before and after adding the solution and we've evaporated the solution to dryness over a boiling water bath. We're just waiting for the material to become really dry, remove all of the water before we take a, another mass reading on the balance. We change the angle of the camera. Should be able to observe bubbling as the last remnants of water are evaporated. Bubbles form on the surface skin of the crystals. And we hope that we don't lose any material from the evaporating basin as those bubbles burst. So here we have an evaporating basin where we've been evaporating a saturated solution of potassium nitrate and that is now evaporated to dryness. As you can see, we'll dab off any trace of water off the bottom, allow that to evaporate and take a mass reading on the balance. 64.85, 64.85. We'll return to the water bath to evaporate through again and make sure that we've got constant mass. <laughs> 